Okay. Mace Yell is in the number 207. The green and white pony yeah, yeah. And Alongside in hand three is Paladino driving number 270. That's your front row as they make their way down the hill. And we are given the green flyer underway in our first final here in Rock Jr. As they make their way down to the first turn, everybody got through turn one. Now they rumble up the hill. And it looks like it's Maciel is taking the early lead as the drivers now hit the brakes for turn three and make their way back down. And down the hill, it is Maciel leading the 219 of Marcelo Panizia has jumped up in the second spot and is already challenging Maciel as they go up the hill. Maciel is going to take the inside. He doesn't want to let it go. They're both going to go down the inside. Now the drivers behind have caught up as the drivers make their way down through the bowl for the first time. Maciel the leader as they come back down the back stretch now. And going down the inside, we're going to pass as they go through the S's. The drivers scramble through a couple of passes there. Maciel will leave the field as they complete lap number one. Now in second spot is the 270. That is Nicky Palladino moving back up into his original spot. As the drivers now make their way around a second time. One driver slowed down to cross the line. For a mechanical issue there, it looks to be Alessio Alves, who will have to uh, stop after one lap. Meanwhile, the field comes back down to the hairpin. A pass to him down the inside there. As the driver made up a spot, moves up into sixth place. That looks like it was Connor Pritico moving up. Side by side up the hill is the second group of cards. And it's in a great spot, and everybody made it through cleanly. Meanwhile, at the front, it's now a two-part race. We've got Maciel in the lead, and it looks like Palladino in second spot. We're completing a lap number two now of the Brock Junior final. Some great lap times being put up already as Maceo and Palladino are running about a half second clear of the rest of the field, so they're pulling away. Palladino with a 58.3, most of the rest of the field are in the high 58s or 59, and so they're trying to separate themselves from the rest of the field. Maceo leads, Palladino in second spot. A little squiggly on the brake for Palladino, but holds on to it, going through the corner up the hill. And now they make their way back around down the back stretch. Now back down the hill, the duo that we're hoping to pull away looks like the, the uh, group has caught up to them. So that 219 start of Panicia, as well as the drivers behind Finalio, Boyle, Pritico, they've all caught up as well, and so we, it might not be just a two-car battle anymore. Maciel still leads, but now he's got four cars there, and there should be some more there, they're not too far back as well. Right now, that top four, as you see them come back, down the back stretch is Maciel, Palladino, Panicia, and Cavallio. Down the inside goes the 219, and so Panicia now back up in the second spot, takes the position back. And now Panicia and Palladino are going to go into turn one and two, and even a third cut as well is in that Cavallio in that orange helmet in fourth spot. And that pass has given a bit of breathing room for Maciel on, out in front. The driver's now on lap number five. Remember, this is a 16 lap heat, or final rather. So they've got about 11 laps to go. This will be the longest race for them this weekend. And down the inside, and uh, Savalio moves up a spot as he gets by the 270 car to Palladino. 
So now Gianluca Cavallio is in the top three. The drivers have been here practicing. In fact, there was a event last weekend that a lot of the drivers have uh, taken part. And uh, official practice started on Wednesday, and officially the racing started on Friday with qualifying. We've been spending time to two heat races and a free final yesterday afternoon, and it all builds up to this. So the drivers have been racing each other now for a couple of days, and the crescendo of it all is right now. We decided all for Rock Jr. and Andrew Maciel lead the group. As they move back down the back end of the track into the bowl. A bit of a lead there for Maciel. Not in under immediate threat. Right now second and third. Continues to Benicia and Sonalio. Paladino Mual in fourth is in Prada by Austin Royal. Royal running the number 218 first. So we've got a Tony Kart in the lead and two Cosmic in second and third. So he's got Tony Dark, Cosmic, Cosmic, the three is three. That's the top five. And right now, that 207 machine of Maciel running well, keeping that lead of just under half a second as the drivers are now on lap seven. Things have settled down now, but it all pulls up to the end as the drivers are starting to plan out what they're going to do. They still right now trying to hold on to that gap that he's developed. So he's got a bit of a cushion for the time being, but the two drivers behind are pushing hard to try and catch up. And fastest lap of the race, in fact, was just set by Emil Fittipaldi bringing in six bottom to pass down the inside toward the lead, crossing over. Boyle, a great move to take the lead back. Now that might cost the position to Panicia as Sonal is now around the outside. And that closed things right up. Michiel somehow retains that little gap that he's developed now and goes down to that second back. He's thrown it. Uh, but that has grouped everybody together from second through fifth. And joining in there, like I was just saying, putting in the fastest lap of the race, Emma Fittipaldi, he's in the uh, blue car, the number 277, catching up to them. Uh, the lap continue to tick away. Now they're beginning lap number nine of 16 for this lap. Rock Jr. on track. We've got the Briggs of Stratton Jr. Light on the grid, ready to go next. Maciel in the lead, still with that gap of about half a second. The Valley is running in second spot. Defending the inside, he wants to keep that second. The four of them are going to try up to the leader. Drivers make their way down the hill. We've got Maciel still leading that quartet, still right behind them. Led by Savalio in that second place. In third spot, Marcelo Panicia. Then we got Paladino and Boyle. And catching up to that group as well, a name that might sound very familiar to racing fans, Emil Fittipaldi. Yes, the son of two time world champion Emerson, is in the field and is in fact catching up to the lead group. He's running the blue cart number 277 as they make their way down the back stretch. And if you see the helmet, a very familiar color.